I'm going on a field trip. Ricky, what are you doing? We're going to a farm. I know. Before six? Son of a bitch! Ask the Mead Maker, where I, Ricky the Mead Maker, usually answer your questions about mead making, mead brewing, mead drinking, but today I'm going to talk about where my power comes from. It comes from these guys. Ricky the Mead Maker from the future here. A lot of our footage from this shoot is apparently of manure. And while cow power and biodigesters are very, very cool, footage of cow poop is not an image I want associated with my product. But while we were on tour, a baby cow was born. So, before and after the interview, we are going to treat you to footage of his first steps. Aww. Right behind me is where all the action really happens. At the meadery, we try to save as much water as possible. We harvest our CO2 for growing things. But what we don't have to deal with is massive amounts of manure. I can't really think of anything worse than dealing with massive amounts of manure. Just how much is in the ground behind me. Well, the tank will hold about 850,000 gallons of manure. We're pumping manure into the tank, the vessel that is growing uh, anaerobic uh, methanogenic bacteria, we'll call it, to produce methane gas, to fuel a 24 liter engine to produce electricity to the power grid. We produce about 2 million kilowatt hours each year to the grid. And how many houses would that power? That would power about uh, 400 average sized homes. Wow. We're filling that tank 14 feet deep with manure, and the top two feet are used for gas storage. And this makes an excellent bedding for the herd. It also makes an excellent soil amendment for gardens. And let me show you something. Here, what we saw in the tank a couple of minutes ago, had a bit of odor with it, but smell that. That's awesome. I sleep on that. <laughs> yeah, well. Let's review. This is a farm. This is the farmer who owns the farm. He has lots and lots of cows. Some of them are little. Some are very, very big. Regardless of their size, all cows eat a lot of food. Thus, they produce a lot of manure. Utilizing a biodigester, this manure is turned into fibrous bedding and electricity. And with the help of Green Mountain Power, the electricity runs this awesome, awesome metery. That's the end of the science portion of this video, so here's more baby cow, as promised. So that's the end of our show. I want to thank Bill from Green Mountain Dairy for hosting us today and our friends from Green Mountain Power for connecting us with Bill so we can get cow power. The last thing we have to do is send it over to Ricky with our word of the week. Ricky? Thank you, gentlemen. This week's word is archaea. Archaea is the domain that contains the methanogen that breaks down that cow manure. They're kind of like the cousin once removed from bacteria, and about as distant as some eukaryotes. Look it up on Wikipedia. Archaea. It's our word of the week and the end of our show. Keep sending your questions and I'll get to them as soon as possible. Cheers.